and welcome to my channel, Hardback Adventures. My name is Mia, and today we're going to be talking about bookish apps, um, as well as ways that I get free ebooks and free audiobooks. And um, so, if you want to hear more about that, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first I want to talk about the ways that I do ebooks and audiobooks for free, and then we'll get into the other apps that I have that are like bookish apps, and then I want to hear your guys' opinions on what book apps you recommend. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, which I just found out probably about like six months ago, um, if not less, maybe like five months ago, that we could do this. I didn't even know like this was a thing. So your local library has partnered with um, most likely most people's local libraries, you can check in to see what your local library has done, has partnered with a bunch of apps, a lot of people do Overdrive, there's Hoopla, there's Libby, there's um, Access 360 for our library. Basically what it is, it's apps that you download and if you have a library card, you put in your library card number and you have access to so many ebooks and audiobooks that your library is providing instantly so you don't even have to go there. They are digitally, you can read them on your phone, your tablet, your iPad. Um, so apps that I have that I use for my library, which is the Polk County Library, Lakeland Library, you know, whatnot. Um, we have Hoopla, we have Overdrive, we have Libby, and we have Access 360. So I'll kind of show you what it looks like. And these are like new books too, like they're constantly getting brand new books. This is how I'm reading a lot of my books lately. Books that, you know, are still for full price that I can't find for, for bargain, but I also I like, when I did my big book haul, I don't really don't want to buy any more books right now, but there are still a ton of books that I want to read. So. Here's what it looks like when you go and you click books. It has a ton of audiobooks. You can filter it by, you know, age group. You can filter it by, like, um, the um, genre. And so just a couple of examples of audiobooks that I have listened to or going to be listening to. So there is When Dimple Met Rishi. There is a bunch of the Karen Slaughter um, books, which are, like, mystery thrillers, which... <laughs> I tried to start a Karen Slaughter audiobook and I was like cringing so much I had to like turn it off. I might go back to it like one day, but like that's some graphic stuff, guys. Um, it has the Darker Shade of Magic series on here, which is really interesting. Um, All the Crooked Saints, the, okay, what I've listened to. So this is how I listen to City of Ghost. Um, I listened, we should hang out to some sometime on here. I have the book, the physical book, but I started to listen to the audio book, but ended up just going right back to the physical book. So I think I listened to like a couple of minutes of the audio book. Um, yes. And then you have the Access 360, which is directly connected to the local Lakeland library, not Polk County, I believe. So I believe it has to be like the Lakeland library. I'm not positive. Ooh, a bunch of pop-ups, hold on. So, on here, I've actually let a, a read a lot of my mystery thrillers on this app, the Access 360, and let's see, I'm just trying to figure out where I can find what books I've read. So, my wish list, I'll just tell you my wish list right now, for books that, you know, I want to read. Um, we have the Raven Boy series. Um, you can find them in the ebook and audiobook on, like, all of these apps. So on Hoopla, um, I believe they have all the ebooks, and then on Access 360, or I'm sorry, on Hoopla they have all the audiobooks, and then on Access 360, I believe they have the ebooks. That's how I actually listened to the whole Raven Cycle series for free, was through like Hoopla and Access 360. Um, and I fell in love with it. I love the Raven Cycle series. I know I read that like while I was away from BookTube, but just to let you know, fantastic. Please check it out. Not the point of this video though. Um, we have um, Dreams of Gods and Monsters, which is the Lainey Taylor series. I've read the first book, and I'm like partway through the second book. I did put it down and walk away for it, like 78 pages in, um, and I haven't picked it up in probably about a month. So we'll see. I'm hoping to get through the series, but we'll see. I'm just not really super interested into it right now in high fantasy. Um, there's We Were Liars. There's The Woman in Cabin 10. Um, Her Every Fear by Peter Swanson, Artemis, um, Since We Fell by Dennis Lehane, Dark Matter, Bone Gap, 
like all kinds of books. So it's not just like books that you would never read. These are books that you would read, books that you would listen to, and the one that probably has the most variety is Libby, which is a part like Overdrive. Libby and Overdrive are the same thing. It's just Libby is a like sub app of Overdrive for easier listening um, and easier picking out. Like it's just a more simplistic version of Overdrive. I'm not sure why they have two apps, but they do for the same thing. But they have like everything on Libby. They have Legend by Mary Lou, um, they have like Warcross on here, they have the Illuminae series, literally everything. This one, Libby is more, like Libby and Overdrive are the ones that are more popular and more used, so it is kind of hard to, more hard to borrow books on this. The way the system works is they have a certain amount of copies in the app um, that anybody can borrow, and when you're borrowing, you're borrowing a copy, so you have to wait, like if they have three copies of the book in the app, you have to wait for somebody to not have a copy if all three copies are used. The other two apps, like literally the Hoopla and the Access 360, there's really never anything on hold. You can borrow it right then and there. A majority of the books in Libby, you can go ahead and borrow, but the ones that are really popular, like, you know, The Hate You Give and Children of Blood and Blood, Children of Blood and Bone, which I'm in the middle of reading, um, those are, they have wait times and holds, and you can put it in to hold your wait time, and it will tell you exactly when you'll be able to read it. So it's not, like, too bad, it's just you gotta, like, wait on the book if you want to read it sometimes. Sometimes they are, like, available right then and there. Um, so it's just kind of like the luck of a draw, just like with a library, sometimes you have to wait for your book. So it's not that really big of a deal, but you can save gas. For those of you who are, like, don't have cars, so go to the library, and you have phones, because a lot of people do have phones and they don't have cars, it's pretty normal nowadays, um, this is a very good way to get free audiobooks and free ebooks. Go get a library card from your library, you know, it's just the best thing that you can do if you love books. Okay, and then now that we're done talking about the library apps, um, which this is not sponsored at all in any way, by, by the way guys, I just want to know kind of what book apps that you use. Here are some other book apps that I use and why I use them. So I have Goodreads. Um, I don't use it to do reviews or anything like that or keep track of books that I'm reading, unfortunately. I just use it to like look up books. It's very informative for when you want to quickly find the synopsis of a book and the ratings of a book and get accurate people's ratings. So whenever I'm looking to see if I want to actually buy this book or what exactly it's about, I'll look it up in Goodreads and then I'll just see if anybody else has read it and what they think about it, how many stars they give it. The next book I have is Wattpad. That's a very good way to get a lot of free books as well. They're not going to obviously be published books if you don't know about Wattpad. Basically it's where people can go on there and write their own stories and have them available for anybody to read for free. And one book in particular I do want to mention because I loved it so much. Okay, hold on. It's called The Famo, um, and it's F-A-M-O-U-X, so I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or if it's actually pronounced famous, and they just did it with an X, I'm not sure. So funny thing is, I started reading this book probably like a good, like, three, four years ago, when it was, the author was actually slowly putting one chapter at a time, and... I had to wait each week for a new chapter and I got so frustrated at first because I'm a very impatient person, I know, that I actually stopped reading the book, put it down, and then like two years later, um, you know, at this point when I'm with my husband, I'm just like looking for a book to read and I see like this book blew up, like it got like a Woody Award, it's on its way to be published, like it, it really blew up in the sense that it got really popular, so, and then so when I went back and reread it, um, and I just read the entire book that it was, it was so good. Like I honestly just for, it's not really like an, I won't say amateur, but somebody who's not published, you know, just somebody who I found on the internet who's writing a story. It was really, it was shocking. It was a lot of drama. Um, like, so it was like a year ago since I've read it. So I don't really remember too much about it, but I just remember it being extremely good. And then the sequel, the same thing. She was still like only in the first couple chapters, chapters of the sequel, so I started reading the sequel, which is like the classics, and 
got really frustrated I put it down so when I'm gonna go back probably a year from now and just probably reread the first book and then read the second book when it's completely done and then if she has the third one read the third one so yeah sorry off track not the point of this video um, but that's a really good book recommend that I do recommend if you're looking at Wattpad okay on to the next app so Speaking of writing, I have Pages and I have the Power of Thesaurus on here. And those are just two apps that I use for writing, so not necessarily book apps, but for writing a novel. Moving on. Okay, so I have Audible on here. I'm actually, subs I pay for Audible. I do the two credits per month for like, I think it's like $22, $23. Um, and it's, you get two audiobooks a month that you can get any audiobook whatsoever. Um, I'm not, this is not sponsored, I'm not affiliated with them. That's just one way that I use to get audiobooks that I can't get off my library apps that I really want to listen to. And the last two apps I have, I have Nook and then I have Audiobooks, the app. So Nook, um, I have if I, I ever want to buy an ebook, which I have yet to do. I think I am going to buy the, I think it's a novella, it's Opal by Maggie Stavater. Um, it's part of the Raven Cycle series. She made like a short 35 page story and you can only buy it in like ebook. So I think that's why I downloaded like Nook so I could be able to buy it for like 99 cents and read it because I really want to read it. Um, but audiobooks, the reason I have this app is because the Once Upon a Book Club box that I got came with a promo code where I could get two free audiobooks in a free trial so I'm just like running out that trial with my two free books and then I'm probably going to delete it because I have Audible um, and it has more of a selection honestly than audiobooks but on, like not sponsored, not affiliate but anywho so that's all the book apps that I have so if you guys have any other book apps that you use for being a book lover let me know in the comments down below I would love to be able to add um, to my folder of book apps because, you know, who doesn't need apps for leading to books? Hey right, guys, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Um, hit the subscribe button below if you want to see more videos on book reviews and just other bookish videos. And thank you so much for stopping by. I'm sorry that I've been so, like, away um, for probably about a week and a half. Just been really busy. So I'm fil filming a ton of videos in one day, probably like four or five, just to catch back up. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Bye!